Jesse Volume 1 dropped a couple of weeks ago, and it has reignited my interest in Jacob Collier theory, so today I want to rigorize a definition for super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta. Because what does it mean? I mean, that is when you have Lydian on the end, super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta, Lydian. We know what that means, but what does it mean if you have Dorian on the end? What does it mean if you have Locrian on the end? I need answers, and you do too. I guarantee you, your life will not be complete until you know the answer to this question. So, Jacob Collier, he's left clues here and there. He wants it to be a mystery, but I'm going to solve it today. I'm here to investigate. So let's get into it. Can you tell us more about the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Lydian scale and how you would use it to, in, in your improvisation? Um, well, let me tell you right now. Yeah, the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Lydian, um, I don't know if I call it a scale, but it's like a sound. The idea of Lydian not stopping it at the root when you rise, like do, 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 do. you know, yeah, this thing. For me, it's just like that's how Lydian sounds. That's like that's Lydian at its most comfortable. I'm not sure George Russell would agree with me, by the way, but oh. um, I think that yeah, that as a sound, that's like so, that's optimum brightness. And then if you go, if you go, do, 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 that's like the opposite kind okay. of scale because that's. I don't know if I call it super Locrian, but it like continuously wraps itself around the darker side of the cyclopis. Kinsis to F, Kinsis to B flat, E flat, E flat. And yeah, that way of thinking, it's really informed me a lot about, first of all, navigation, but also like coloring in chords. Wow. So he's given us two examples here, obviously the super ultra hyper mega metalidian scale, or maybe it's not a scale, I don't know, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, and this other one, which is really useful, that he gave us this other example, where it wraps around the fourths instead. So instead of doing uh, three whole steps and a half step, it's two whole steps and a half step, and it wraps around the fourths. And this is the really important part, which um, if he didn't say this, this whole thing would be ruined. Uh, but he says, I don't know if I'd call that super Locrian. Which is good, because if that was Locrian, I have, I have no idea. I would, be, I would be nowhere. I'd be completely lost in life and everything. Nothing would make sense. Pretty much the universe would cease to exist if that was Locrian. But it's not, so we're good. Now, is it a scale or not? Well, he says, I don't know if I'd call it a scale. And um, according to my logic, if I want to stay consistent, I said that second example isn't Locrian because he says, I don't know if I'd call it Locrian. So if I want to stay consistent, I suppose I would have to concede that it's not a scale. And that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense to say it's not a scale because you can complete it. Like it doesn't go on forever. You come back around to where you started at the circle of fifths. So, you know, you can complete it and then repeat it. But if you want to repeat it even once, you have to go outside of human hearing range, either on the low end or the high end, or both if you want, um, because it takes seven octaves. It's a seven octave scale if you want to complete it, and that's quite large, and it repeats a lot of notes that have octave equivalents with each other, and we typically think of scales as being contained within one octave, so I'm in agreement with him that uh, you would not really call this a scale. But you could, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we don't really need another word on the end of that though, because Super Ultra Hyper Mega Meta Lydian is already a super long name. So we'll just call it that, Super Ultra Hyper Mega Meta Lydian. No need for scale or sound or anything after that. We'll just, we'll just go with it. My first idea for how to define this rigorously was based on only the Super Ultra Hyper Mega Meta Lydian scale and not that second example. So once the second example came in, it didn't make any sense and it was the idea that you play the first four notes of the mode and then you go up a fifth and the fifth becomes the new root and you play the first four notes of that mode on that root and then you do that over and over again. Uh, but obviously that doesn't work with the second example because the second example plays the first three notes of a mode and by the way, it's Mixolydian and then continues upward wrapping around around the circle of fourths rather than the circle of fifths. So my actual rigorous definition is a little bit more complicated, so allow me to explain. So I'll give you a quick definition first and then I'll go through an example to make it clear. So the quick definition is this. The super ultra hyper mega meta of any mode is the pattern resulting from repeating the first to either fourth or fifth degree of that mode where the fourth or fifth respectively becomes the new root, all such that the first seven notes played are the same seven notes that would be played in the mode normally. I know that was a lot to take in all at once, so go back and pause if you need to, but I'm gonna do an example here, and I think this will make it clear to most people. So let's try Dorian. What would it look like to have super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Dorian? So let's start on C. This is what C Dorian sounds like. Now, uh, I play the octave there, but uh, really we're just trying to preserve the first seven notes. In this particular one, we will actually preserve the eighth and the ninth as well, uh, but we're just looking for the first seven, so those notes must be preserved. And what we're gonna do is choose whether to use the fourths or the fifths. 
based on which one of those will preserve those first seven notes. And I can guarantee you for all of the church modes, Lydian, Dorian, Aeolian, etc., uh, for all of those, one will work, the other will not. For all of those, either the fourths will work and the fifths won't, or the fifths will work and the fourths won't. So let's try the fourths for Dorian first. What that means is we're going to go up to the fourth, the fourth will become our new root, and then we continue. So, now we're on the fourth, and then that becomes our new root, and so another Dorian scale, F Dorian, starts like this. And there's our problem. We have an A flat if we try to use the fourths for the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Dorian. And that A flat is not in the original seven notes of the Dorian, because the original seven notes of the Dorian have the A natural and not the A flat, right? So, let's try the fifths. Now this becomes our new one, and look at that. We have it, right? So we want to base it off of the fifths for the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Dorian, because that preserves the first seven notes of the Dorian mode. A theory is only good if it describes things properly, so let's try and apply this theory to the original examples that Jacob Collier gave. If my theory is correct, then it should work on those. So let's try a super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Lydian, okay? So uh, the Lydian scale looks like this. Okay, again, I played up to the octave, but it's the first seven notes that we're trying to do. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't even have a perfect fourth, but let's just try the fourth scale degree anyway. I mean, it's really obvious with this one, but if we try to start on the uh, fourth scale degree to uh, continue the pattern, okay, then we do Lydian. Okay, obviously this doesn't work at all. We have these notes, neither of which are in the original Lydian, so if we do it on fifths, however... Okay, there we go. We preserved the first seven. And, and you'll notice how this one, unlike the Dorian, this one only preserved the first seven. It did not even preserve the eighth note, because the eighth note is actually going to be this C sharp here, uh, which is not in the original Lydian, but we preserved the first seven, and that's what we needed. So the other example that he gave, he didn't say what it was exactly. He said he doesn't think it's Locrian, uh, but it turns out it's actually Mixolydian. So let's try the Mixolydian scale, and uh, you'll see that we actually get that. So... There's the Mixolydian scale again with the octave, but that's what we're trying to preserve. So let's try this. Uh, the fifths don't work. We already know it's wrapping around the fourths, so let's just demonstrate that the fifths don't work. So if we go, and then we try, okay, obviously we've got the B, that should be a B flat in Mixolydian, so the fifths don't work. Let's try the fourths. Okay, and, oh, look at that. It works, it works fantastically, right? So we get that. We get that pattern that he was showing there. So, great, it works. What happens if we do Locrian? So Locrian is actually kind of similar to Lydian in the sense that it is missing one of the options entirely. So Lydian is entirely missing the fourth as an option, and Locrian is missing the fifth as an option. Um, but as I did with Lydian, I'll also show you that even if you just try to do the fifth scale degree of Locrian, it uh, fails miserably there as well. So the first seven notes of Locrian. All right, so let's try the fifth scale degree. It'll, it'll fail miserably, but... Uh, Okay, and then this one goes... Okay, so obviously, tons of wrong notes right off the bat there. Uh, so let's try the fourth. Okay, we're on the fourth now. What happens if we do this one? Oh, look! We get the first seven notes of Locrian. Works fantastically. So Locrian is fourths, and, uh, yeah. It turns out that the usage of fourths or fifths to create the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta of any mode switches. It alternates back and forth as you go up the brightness scale. So Locrian has fourths and then it alternates as you go up, um, except for the top two, Ionian and, and Lydian both base themselves around the fifths, which I don't know, kind of makes sense. What, what is kind of interesting is that Phrygian uses fifths. Um, I, I mean, that's what you expect from the pattern, but the fact that it uses fifths and the fact that it's such a minor scale, it's like a diminished kind of scale almost, right? Um, and that kind of goes against, in a sense, the, uh, the duality that Jacob Collier is kind of known for, which is the fourths are minor and fifths are major kind of a thing. Uh, but the super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta Phrygian scale is actually based around fifths, which is kind of interesting. So there you go, that's my take on rigorously defining what super, ultra, hyper, mega, meta means when you attach a little mode name to the end of it. Um, Jesse Volume 1 is out, uh, and it's been out for a little bit now, but you should definitely go watch it. I mean, I know I watched it 21 or maybe 22 times, uh, and I think you should too. Uh, but you know what else came out on December 7th, funnily enough? was my, uh, my little rap EP. It's only four tracks, and I think it's like 13 minutes long in total, so it's not a huge work, but uh, 
I'd appreciate it if you check it out, but really, Jesse Volume 1 is the important thing to check out, uh, especially with regards to this video. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you around next time, maybe. Who knows? I do theory videos every now and then on this channel, and I make music as well. Big surprise. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.